Hey everybody, it's Kelly with kellyscards.ca. This is the sixth and final card in my card kit series, the Everyday Card Kit number two. I've picked out some vintage elements for this card. To start out, I have taken this paper and I have gone around and inked around the edges with this Distress ink, this vintage photo ink, and I've just gone around and I have inked the edges. So once you've done that, then you can take each of your strips, this red piece, this brown piece here, and as well as this light sheet, and just ink them gently around the edges. And this will just help define them, and it will just also add to our vintage flavor of this card. And then when that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to start adhering the strips down. And I'm just going to use some of this tape runner here. And you're going to want to just make sure that you have them placed all on there at the same time so you get your first strip placed exactly where you want it. You can either place your first strip first with these downs or you can place this one first and then complete the other two. It also helps make sure that your strips are straight. So once you have your first strip down, then the other two are pretty easy to put on. And again, you can just use some tape runner. Just make sure your edges are nice and adhered up. And just layer it right beside the other strip. And then this one will go there. This is a fun way to get rid of your little scraps and your strips. And we'll add this last strip right up against there. And that is perfect. Now, if you have any extra hanging over the edge, you can just take a pair of scissors, flip your card mat over, and just trim off the edge. So after just snipping off the edge, you can just take your inker and just re-ink that bottom of where you just snipped to make this side even. Now, what we can do is add this piece to our card base. And we're going to use a little score tape on the long edges. So I've just removed the adhesive and we're going to put it down on our card base now. Like that. And that's starting to look really good. Our next element is this doily. And I'm just going to lightly ink with the same vintage photo, just the edges around this doily. Just to add again that vintage flavor and some edging just to detail this element. Like so. And I'm going to now adhere this down. When I put the tape runner on, I didn't do the edges on purpose so that if I wanted to flick them up, just to give a little dimension, I still had that option. So I'm going to place the doily now down, lining it up with the edge of our pattern paper that we just glued down. There, that element is now on there. And now going into our image, you'll find a little card mat as well as this nice image. And again, I am going to also ink this up. And again, inking up the image in this case is really going to define it. And I'm going to use some I'm going to use some score tape now just to attach this. We're going to line it up with this little mat, try to get it perfectly centered, and there we go. So now we can attach our mat, and again I'm going to use some pop dots for this. So now I've got all the pop dots on there, and we are going to again figure out where our elements want to come in. So I'm going to just hold this and see if I like this. And I think that looks really good to show a little bit of the brown there. And I'm going to put it right where it is already laying. 
and just push it down there like so. Now for this butterfly, it has a little red gem just to add a little bit with the coral tones. There's also red and coral within this image. So to add our butterfly, I'm just going to use a zot. It's just easier to use a zot than other types of adhesive. And it helps give your butterfly a little wiggle room on your project. I'm going to place it there and you can just bend the wings up a little bit so that it has a little bit of dimension there. And lastly we have our sentiment and again I'm just going to ink around the edges and you can place this sentiment many different locations. You can have it down here, you can have it across here, you can have it going across there but then you'd cover the image. So I think it looks the best right down here. So I am going to throw a couple pop dots on the back of this sentiment and then we will adhere this and this card will be finished. And there, so now that I've got the pop dots finally off, I can add the sentiment just like so. And This is just such a beautiful card with its vintage colors and still adding a little bit of a pop here with the coral red and again if this is a great way to use your strips of paper that you have left over put some light colors together or like ideas like a vintage style or maybe a baby boy style something like so and it really you can make a beautiful card from this so I hope you enjoyed this card as well as this card kit series there will be more series in the future I will also be doing some product review videos in the near future so please check out that subscribe for more videos and you can also check me out on my website at kellyscards.ca i thank you so much for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful day